DS Marcoleta, please uh, Mr. Chair, uh, address the chair. The, the DS, DS Mominal is out of order. My objection, Mr. Chair, is the uh, presentation of uh, DS Marcoleta on mentioning my names. Pero yung lumilitaw, Mr. Chair, ito logo ng company ng DS, ayaw kong banggitin ang pangalan, na palaging nag interrupt okay? Mr. Chair. O hindi ko binabanggit ang no, pangalan mo. Under our expropriation law, no, which is uh, Republic Act 10752, no, this is an act facilitating the acquisition of road right of way, site, or location for national government infrastructure projects. No? Kining niya, this is a national infrastructure project because projecto man kanisa national government ang pondo na asagaa nga gibutang sa DPWH agency. No? It's a multi-purpose building to be used for housing units na apodiha ang covered court facilities of a community. Covered court Barangay Health Center, and other facilities na gikinhanglan sa mga katawahan in that community. The expropriation law, the controlling law, is Republic Act 10752. My question to the city administrator. In filing the complaint for expropriation, and conscious of the fact that the controlling law is Republic Act 10752, did the city government of Osamis went through the office of the Solicitor General or the OGCC in filing that complaint. Please respond, uh, yes, yes. City Administrator. Uh, we have not yet, Your Honor. Not yet? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, not yet. But they already expropriated the land. As Mr. a matter of fact, Mr. Chair, may I interject because my name was mentioned? Mr. Chair, on that I am issue. trying to explain this. Uh, Mr. If DS Waminal keeps on interrupting this representation. D it, DS Waminal, uh, the, the committee is uh, now in uh, only the section two, uh, rule two, section four. So let's give him a little latitude, please, because uh, we're not yet in the converted into uh, inquiry. So um, let him, let him, he has the floor, let him proceed uninterrupted. Mr. Chair, it is my right as member of the committee and the yes. to rise any time when your name has been mentioned in any inquiry by anybody I, for you to rise on a personal yeah, yes, and I, collective privilege. We respect and that. To but, in, uh, in this matter, to injure, uh, interject and uh, clarify uh, the statement which I made, Mr. Chair. And I think it is within the role, Mr. Chair, and within my right. To Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I do not understand the interruption being made by DS Waminal. Actually, he's referring to the video to to the mention to the city administrator to take as reference only. He is using that only as a reference yeah, to the it, question propounded yeah. on the city administrator, sir. Yeah, on the basis of the question, Mr. Chair, he was using my statement as an evidence. So that's why I should be made to try to make a clarification. You you will be because it yeah depends. yeah you will be given all the time after no. after the ano after he finishes his well, yeah, yeah. no on that particular point, well, he's not challenging your your person. I never heard him challenge your person now on this no. here on the floor here on the hearing. He is using he's mentioning my name and he is using my name as an evidence of his interpolation. Can you cite, when did you see your name here? Here, yeah, this we, this uh, particular instance? Yeah, uh, when he asked the question to the city administrator, when he said that the Swaminal has already admitted that the expropriation law is uh, under- You just admitted. Hello, uh, did that, you not admit? DS Marcoleta, please. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, address the chair. The, the DS, DS Mominal is out of order. He just saw himself. He admitted he invoked Republic Act 10752. What is wrong in that? There's nothing wrong. He admitted. It's only a premise. That's why I'm asking the city administrator if they went through the office of the OGCC 
or the solicitor general because that please, is what please, is supposed please, to be please, the provision uh, of law. Please avoid mentioning the name of the DS Ominal in your, uh, you know, interpolations. Because he, 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 he is he is interrupting me, Mr. Chair. I, I am not. I have no business mentioning his yeah, name. Please, please. His name has nothing to do with this. Yes, he, okay. He, he presented my... He, my pre, uh, my press conference, Mr. Chair. So as a, as a reference think, material. Yeah, that's why I should be. Uh, he's referring. Yeah, that's why I should. That's why I should be allowed Hello, uh, to interject. So, uh, I think it, the the video is self-explanatory. If we debate the video, a two-minute video with a ten-minute debate, debate, we will not go to what we are. Uh, no, finding anyway, Mr. out Chair, here. I yield, but I am just. Uh, uh, I I am just. Uh, I ordered that uh, DS uh, Marcoleta avoid mentioning the name of uh, DS Ominal just to propound questions on the resource persons. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank anyway, you. Thank you. The city administrator, uh, the city administrator already answered that they did not yet went through the office of either the OGCC or the Solicitor General, and then in his last answer, Mr. Chair, he said that the residents voluntarily vacated the residence. May I ask the ComSec to please uh, show slides two, three, and four. <laughs> Chair, yan po yung voluntary. Kayo na po ang uh, magusga, Mr. Chair, kung voluntary yun. City Administrator, the deed of possession issued by the court miraculously turned into a title and covered all those, all those slots in the name of the city government? Naging titulo na ba yun? Naging titulo na nung magkaroon ng rate of possession? Naging titulo at lahat nung inexpropriate ninyong lupa napunta na sa pangalan ng Osami City? If your honor please. No, no, no. Yes or no? Nung mag-issue ng rate of possession na convert na into a title pagkatapos lahat ng mga lupa na yun napunta na sa pangalan ng city administrator ng city government? Yes or no? No, Your Honor. Okay, no. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chair um, may I manifest my continuing objection for the record on the manner how the author is presenting or adjudicating evidence in support with his allegation because as earlier stated, the persons invited the government officials are resource speakers. They are not witness. But the way how it is being done now, as if they are witness or adverse party of the case, which we have not yet determined who are the adverse party because it is not yet determined who are the officers and employees who committed the alleged malfeasance, I, misfeasance. I, I malfeasance. already enumerated the... Yes, I'm the, just putting it on record. Yeah, but you already told me uh, about an hour ago to enumerate the offices or agencies that are alleged. So I did that already. Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm not... Uh, my, my point is in the way... How okay, do we... Okay, noted, is, noted. 
uh, adducing evidence noted. in support to his allegation. Yes, noted. Noted by the records. Okay. Mr. Uh, D.S. Marco Leta, Thank please you, visit. Mr. Chair. City Administrator. In the demolition of the houses of the lot owners, did the court issue writ of demolitions? Uh, there was no demolition, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> if Your Honor, well, right 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 John, uh, Mr. Chair, okay, lang, sige. Right. Who is the contractor of the first building? As far I in, as far as I know, it is Alpha and Omega Construction, Your Honor. What about the second building? Uh, Mr. Chair, the, the 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 resource speaker is incompetent to answer that. The right office to will. Akala ko ba continuing uh, objection ka na lang? That's why I am again. Do you want to, to, to proceed? No, no Mr. Chair. Uh, my, my point, Mr. Chair, is that... Please address the chair. Please address the chair. Do not uh, directly engage each other. Mr. Chair, I'm addressing my continuing uh, objection to... We will, the chair, we will suspend chair. this hearing for another date if you cannot control yourselves. I, I'm in a very cool uh, manner, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm addressing only... Yeah. Let's, I, I already ruled that uh, we noted your objection. It's the same objection. No, another point, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, said, what is that point? The resource speaker where the, with, uh, the author has asked the question is incompetent to answer. The right office to answer that is the DPWS because it is on record that it is the DPWS that implements uh, the project, Mr. Chair. Let he, let's give him latitude. Let's uh, propound those objections when we are in inquiry phase, maybe in the next hearing. You are, will be given the right to object in the, uh, the line of questioning. This is just the, to let the members appreciate the evidence and the allegations we cannot appreciate by having interruptions every five minutes, Mr. Uh, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker. We are not even uh, in the inquiry phase. We are just, uh, as you requested, we are in the preliminary determination. So let's give him latitude. He cannot, he, how can one write up, uh, paint a painting if every two minutes somebody is throwing mud on the painting? That is how what that what is happening now in analogy. That is what is happening now. So please give him. It's his style. The style is Marcoleta style. When it's ominal style, I will let you speak also, uninterrupted. Okay. Can can we proceed, sir? Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm just raising my position on Noted, the way sir. how we're going on. It's not in accordance to what I interpret with the rules. Why did you allow the construction, which is now ongoing in Barangay Lam'an, Osami City? Because, sir, they are on the process of acquiring the land, the, the site. If they are in the process of acquiring the land, is it correct for you to have already constructed even before getting the land in the name of the local government? That is the way you execute projects in the DPWH, kahit wala pa yung titulo, kahit wala pa sa pangalan ng local government, itatayo mo na? Ganun ba yun? Is that the rule? Sabi mo ko, they will provide the land. Oh, basta sabi ng LGU, sir, they will provide the land. So, nakita din namin doon na Naniwala ka naman na sinabi lang, they will provide na lang. Kanina pa natin sinasabi na, na, na private property ang pinagtayuan mo. Ang sagutin mo ito, dapat ba o tama ba yung ginawa ninyo na ikaw ang nag-implement, sinupervise mo pa? Samantalang wala pa sa pangalan ng city government ang property. Kaya expropriate pa nga lang eh. Why did you do that? We believe sir that they, they have the ownership now. Ikaw ang tinatanong ko, pabayaan mo kung ano yung gusto nila. Ikaw, DPWH official. O nga sir, pero we are, coordinate, we are closely coordinating with the LGU sir. Ano? We are closely coordinating with the LGU regarding the 
A decision of the state. Alam ko nakikipag-coordinate ka, nakikipag-kutsa ba ka nga eh. Sabi mo, dahil post-audit kayo, kaya hindi mo pa alam kung may chair, irregularity o hindi. The chair has already advised the uh, good deputy speaker to wind up. So he should now wind up because he has over uh, exceeded the, the, uh, his time, Mr. Chair. So he should now wind up as per your order, Mr. Chair. Reiterate my uh, order to the last question. Pwede ba, Mr. Chair? Akala ko ba usapan? Wala nang ganong klaseng mga comments na... No, no this order is from the Chair, not from DS uh, Uminal. This is because we have five people on the line. It will, it will revert back to you on the second uh, round. Yes, Mr. Chair, I'm only trying to uh, okay. stop la the... La last question. Last question. Please answer concise and to the point, uh, Director... Uh, uh, director. Vocal. I want you to take us in the land. I want you to see, Mr. Chair. Can I stand up? I will just uh, show this. Point. You can point on the screen. Uh, this Marcoleta. It's so. This is Henry S. Wominal. Okay. You can see. Mr. Chair, uh, again, I raise a point of personal and collective privilege because the name of this representation has again mentioned as yes, part sir. of the presentation. Oh, please proceed. Your name has indeed been mentioned. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, I object to the um, uh, the presentation of. May, may I know the objection, Mr. Chair? What line? Of, what is your? What uh, is your objection? What is your objection? I was about to state my objection, Mr. Chair, and I was. That's why. This my colleague, the chair, uh, rule on the objection. What's your objection? Uh, my objection, Mr. Chair, is the uh, presentation of uh, this Marcolita on mentioning my names. My name that on that particular uh, uh, initial that he is uh, citing in his uh, video presentation. Oh, Mr. Chair, may I know if the no, no. Let's ask. Let's ask the resource person to explain what what yes. does HSO mean. You yes. ask the you oh. ask the no contractor. What, what what does the Mr. Chair? The no, 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 no. That is my ruling. That he asked the no contractor. What does HSO mean? No, uh, Mr. Chair, it is my name that has been mentioned. So it is not the contractor who could answer. About this representation. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm saying that uh, no. he inferred. No. He is in, inferring that the HNS, HSO stands for your name. Now we will get somebody to certify or clarify what does HSO stand for and why is it in all the vehicles on the site? Yeah, Mr. Uh, Chair, even the vehicle presentation, it is just a presentation of a vehicle. It does not indicate that that vehicle is on the side that he is referring to. That is very clear in the picture, Mr. Chair. And it immediately conclude and immediately identify that that initial uh, uh, pertains to my name. That's why I'm raising an objection that it should be straightened out of the record, Mr. Chair. Finish. Mr. Chair, may I have uh, the floor? I, I rule first before I give the floor to you. My ruling is it cannot be stricken out because it is just we have not get even been on the inquiry phase we are just determining and appreciating the allegations and the evidence and the facts so i am instructing uh ds uh, marcoleta to avoid mentioning the name as i told you 10 minutes ago of ds henry ominal please propound all questions to the resource persons to ferret out the truth sir thank you mr chair kasi ang nangyayari dito nagtatakipan Yung contractor, sabi niya, nagrenta na lang siya. You remember, I asked him how many equipment did he transport from Luzon to Mindanao. Ang sabi niya, nagrenta. Tagatas, tinanong ko kung kanino nagrenta, may sinabi siyang contractor. Pero yung lumilitaw, Mr. Chair, ito logo ng company ng DS. Ayokong banggitin ang pangalan na but palaging Mr. nag interrupt okay? Mr. Chair. O hindi ko binabanggit ang no, pangalan mo. But there is the point, the proper presentation, Mr. Chair, the vehicle presented does not indicate that it is in the site, Mr. Chair. 
That's why it's very incompetent also for the, the, uh, uh, the private minister. Let, that is just proceed, me, uh, let's proceed to another oh. ano, matter. Let us not highlight the, 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 the equipment. Let us not highlight the equipment anymore. Yeah, let us just forward to the next topic, sir. Okay. On the condition, Mr. Chair, na those, uh, what do you call this? Slides. No, the HSO. Initials. These initials. If, if the DS, who, is, who keeps on interrupting me, will disown that those initials are his. Will he? Will he? Will he disown those? I, 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 I think. Uh, I think the proper person to answer those are mem are people who are construct construction industry in Osamis. We need to ask people from Osamis. What? I will what? ask the contractor, Mr. Chair. It's your it's your call, sir. Okay. It's not Chair. my call. Mr. Mr. Chair, I'm continuing raising my objection because the, yes, uh, go the, 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 the author, Mr. Chair, is maliciously maligning already my name. Uh, the insinuation of presenting that equipment, which has no, no, no basis we'll ask whether only or not if it is, the equipment is no. is uh, uh, equipment is uh, a normal uh, site in Osamis or is a normal player in providing equipment. And what does uh, initial mean? No, no, Mr. Chair, he presented a picture of a vehicle, uh, and the vehicle. I mean, there are lots of vehicles. Uh, we 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 already we we already okay. We will not we will not show the pictures anymore. We will just let him uh, uh, propound these questions, okay? Oh. And it should not be on that vehicle, Mr. Chair, huh? because why 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 do you why do you ask a certain person on that particular vehicle when it is not established whether that vehicle is the one that is being rented? Uh, by the by the contractor, let, Mr. Chair. Let the resource person answer that if he rented vehicles with initials HSO. Oh, let, that, should, that should be that, the That's a good question, question, right? Let oh. him answer that. Please, oh, okay, please Chair. proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm beginning to feel that uh, those interruptions are really necessary if uh, somebody would want that the truth should not be shown. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chair, that's an, a very bad imputation to this representation. I am Let, let's strike, I am let's strike off the record the last sentence. Yeah. Okay, please proceed, Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker Marcoleta. May I ask, Mr. Chair, that this representation to be able to continue yes, sir. should not be interrupted. Yes, I already propounded this to the Honorable. Uh, next time, DS, Mark, DS uh, Ominal, if this is not in uh, a subject of your personal integrity, please do not interrupt. We want to have, uh, if he doesn't mention your name anymore, please do not interrupt uh, because it's not a matter of personal privilege. So we can... Like I said, it, this is like a painting. The painter is always, always painting. Then somebody throws dirt from the back. It cannot. The painting cannot be finished. 